This video will be to show you how to create a basic landscape and export your height map as well as create a splatting map to be used for Unreal Engine 4. So when you open up World Machine initially you will get this basic uh, setup and we're going to do a very simple uh, terrain uh, with an output for your height here and we'll also be setting up a splatting map which will be a red, green, blue uh, and we'll do that at a few moments. Uh, first thing is you click your uh, landscape generator and you'll adjust this uh, accordingly to the type of terrain that you would like. Uh, we're just going to do a quick quick setup here uh, today to show you how to do this. Then uh, if you have a terrace this will terrace it out and then we're going to add a simple uh, erosion so erosion is under uh, the natural setting here and we'll just drag this in and plug this in between our terrace and our height output. Uh, to adjust our terrace we can press the F key and this will lock our preview and you'll see it says preview locked and then we can click here for our 3D view and we can see our terrain as it looks right now and then we can double click our erosion from this outliner panel right here and we can simply decide whether we want a standard erosion or if we want a channeled erosion so if you want channels uh, showing up you would choose this one uh, then we're going to click the uh, geological time enhancement enable button and this will allow us to adjust our terrain accordingly so we can adjust this over and you'll see how it will uh, adjust our terrain and it will show us the erosion that we want. So you can uh, adjust this in, uh, to any way you like. I'm going to leave mine just like this just for the sake of this simple tutorial. Click the OK button and that will finalize that. Click back into your device view and this will give you back to here and you can press the F key to unlock the preview and uh, then we'll be able to look at our height uh, and as long as these are yellow, that means that they are not built. So we would have to build those uh, to be able to adjust our height. Now, one thing we need to do for Unreal is we need to change the uh, world settings or the world extents. So we're going to click this button right up here. And under here, we're going to change this resolution from uh, uncheck the plus one button and then click the custom button and change this setting to 505. That is what Unreal will need to be able to read this. So it will be 505. And you can double check it by clicking back in here and seeing that it is uh, set up at 505. Now the next step uh, to export our height map, we can simply click the build button, which is the green button, and it will go through its build process and finalize all these. And then we should have a green arrow right there. So if we want to create a height map from this one, we can just double click our height. And we were going to select for, to import this height map into Unreal, we'll have to choose a RAW 16 file. So RAW 16 is the format that it uses. So we're going to click uh, set right here to change the location of where we want this file to be. And also to um, designate a name for it. So I'm going to choose my world machine folder and I'm going to I'm going to create a new folder called tutorials and inside here we're going to call this tutorial map and once you get this point and you have it designated all I have to do is click write output to disk and it should give me this message it says that that has been written successfully so that's all we need to do for our height map. To create our splatting map, which will be a uh, red, green, and blue channel dis display of what we have here, is we want to add a uh, few nodes. So we click this selector, and we're going to choose this select height node. So we're going to click it, and we're going to create three nodes down here. So we're going to click one, two, three. Each one of these will be used to determine the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel as far as elevation. 
So we also need uh, to combine these. We need to go to the converter tab and we want to choose the channel combiner node. So we click that, bring that out here and click that. Now these has a red, green and a blue height field. So we're going to click this top one and we're going to plug that into here and I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see. And then I'm going to plug this one here into our green channel and this one into our blue channel. And I will have to go from my erosion output or whatever your last node that affects your height should say height field and you will click that and plug that into here, plug it into here, and plug that into here. Okay. The final thing is we need two output nodes, one we will use for reference and one we will use for our actual splat map. So this will be our bitmap output, so we click that, we'll bring that one down here, and we'll also need a, an overlay view node, which will be right here, which will allow us to see this overlaid over our terrain. So this information here, our bitmap output is our color information, we'll be plugging into here. That's all you need to do for this one. And then you will have to take this information here from our erosion here and we'll plug this height information into the overlay view. And then we will click here and we'll plug this one into the uh, mixed input. So that will give us an overview of this. So we can simply lock our preview, go to the 3D window, and then we can start selecting our heights. The top one will be for our red channel, the bottom one would be for our green, and the bottom one would be for our blue. So we're going to start with the blue to kind of drop that down and set these up. So we're going to click, double click this one. And on here we have a, uh, we need to drop these all the way down. And we'll see that we have a yellow, which is combining our green channel in the middle and our blue channel. So I'm going to click that one all the way down initially and click OK. Then I'm going to click our green and I'm going to start bringing this minimum up and then that should start giving us some information uh, with our blue in just a second. So there's our minimum and this is our maximum. So we'll just kind of give that there for a second, go to our height and we will pull these all the way up. So this will be our max and we can adjust this and you'll start seeing some of our green We'll start showing through and we're going to adjust this till we get the areas where we want uh, one texture such as our mountainous or rock will be here in the red area and then we can go back to our uh, blue channel and we can start adjusting this up as we do that we should start seeing a little bit of a blue will start coming through so it's going to take a, a couple of minutes to adjust this to you get exactly what you're looking for. So if we kind of go here, we'll start seeing some green. And we just have to adjust these heights until we get kind of what we're looking for. So we start seeing some of that blue coming through down in the lower areas. Something in this neighborhood. Okay, we can just keep going until we kind of get our blue, green, and reds exactly how we want them. I can bring this down a little bit. And our fall off amount will adjust how much we have. So we can select this height here. We can adjust this fall off just a little bit and you'll start seeing you get a little bit more red. And this should give us our overall setup for our nodes. Now, we can unlock our preview and we look at our bitmap and we'll see that this is what our splatty map will look like. And to save that out, we'll have to uh, build once again, double click our bitmap here, specify an output file, and we have it right here. And we're going to call this. Flat. Hit save and hit write output to disk and that should be it.